Hello, everyone. This is Tony Lawson, the CEO and co-founder of Shop Black. Today, I'm joined by two very special men, Mr. Morris Chestnut himself and Mr. Obi Obadike. How are you doing, gentlemen? What's wow, going on, he Tony. Hit the, he, hit the, he hit the enunciate. Oh, but the game, man. He, he said, yo, he announced it. yo, he he announced it just to how, how you how it's supposed to be pronounced, man. Uh, that course, name has been butchered so many times in school. Look, Thank God someone knows imagine. how to pronounce it correctly. Hey, look, I'm Nigerian, man. I already know the name, the pronunciation. <laughs> I got you. Exactly. So yeah, <laughs> starting with um you, Morris, kind of getting into it. Um, mm -hmm. how did you and Obi, how do you and Obi meet? Let's start there. <laughs> wow, how we how how we actually literally met. Um, basically, I was on the phone with the director uh, for the Best Man Holiday, and this was prior to us. You know, after we were working on the deals, and he said, "Listen, he said, Morris, I want you to be in shape. You got to be this. You got to be that for the film." And uh, I was like, uh, "Okay." And at that time, I was in New York. I was uh, had it was cold. And I wasn't going, because I'm from California. It was cold and I was not leaving my apartment. I was working on a project out there. I was not leaving my apartment for anything, right? Because I just never, went. the gym was right across the street. I didn't even want to walk across the street. So I was, I was, I was, I was heavier, right? And then, um, and so I was on a conference call um, with, uh, with another fitness, uh, impl I don't want to disrespect her. It's a fitness influencer, OB, is that uh, what she, she considers? Uh, uh, Bashir is a fitness expert. Fitness expert, yes, yeah, exactly. I was on the phone. Top. Yeah. I was on the I was on the phone with another fitness expert uh, talking about another project. And so um, while I was on the phone, I was on her website and I was looking some stuff up on her. And then I saw Obi's picture. I said, "Hey, I said, who's this brother?" And Obi, of course, he was ripped and in shape. I said, "Who's this brother on the uh, on the um on your on this website or wherever the page I was on?" She goes, "Oh, that's right. so." I said, "Well, what is up with him? I want to I want to meet him and you know talk to him about uh, about getting in shape." And so that's how uh, she facilitated the meeting, and that's how that's how it happened. Oh, that's great. That's great. So, Obi, tell us about your background and what inspired you to get into fitness and become you know so important with your game that Morris was looking at the picture and being like, "Okay, this is the guy that I need to work with." Yeah, well, you know what? I think I got inspired by with fitness because first and foremost, I was a, a very, very skinny guy growing up and I used to get made fun of because I was so thin. So um, I got involved in weight training and fitness just to build my body just for my self-esteem so I can just look decent so I can at least be able to buy a date or have a date, you know what I mean? And so I got I got enamored with the building of the body process and I started to learn everything and read all the fitness magazines and stuff like that. So uh, my personal growth really with fitness really came from really uh, heightening my self-esteem and building my body to the point where I can build my confidence. Um, and then once I, uh, then I just, I had this desire to want to see if I, how I can help others. Um, not from an, not necessarily just from an aesthetic perspective, but also from a health and wellness perspective to, to, to allow people to be healthy and well. And so, um, you know, working with, uh, you, you don't really always get the opportunity to work with people that are really nice people, good people. Morris is just a really, really good man. And so um, getting the opportunity to work with him was just such an honor and a pleasure. And I just thought, you know, man, I really, when I first started working with him, I was like, man, this is, I just felt, I don't know, there's something inside me that felt that this was bigger than just getting him in shape for a movie. And then it came from, you got him in shape for this movie. And next thing you know, everyone is talking about his body uh, in the film. Then I'm like, yo, we should do a book. You know what I mean? A 12 week transformation book. So I just really feel like, uh, um, I think everything that happens in life is for a reason. I don't think anything is by chance. I think that Morris and I being able to connect, become friends, but also work together in a team to help people, I really believe is by the man, I really believe it was God, you know, because I just, the way we kind of connect and how well we get along well and, um, and how he taught, how he is in business and how he is in life and how easy he is to work with. Um, you know, I, I wish that everyone would have an opportunity to work with this guy in any professional environment because he's just such a pleasure to work with. And so I really feel like he and I are better together than we are apart when it comes to this whole health and wellness journey in terms of trying to help people 
get fit, get healthy. We've all learned now with this pandemic that um, uh, it, if we really want to live a long life, we have to be healthy. We have to have a strong immune system. We've got to exercise. We've got to eat right. So I really feel like Morris and I are really on this global mission to help people, not only with content, but with things to assist with you getting to where you need to be. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. And Morris, I know obviously you have to get in shape for your, you know, work and career. Were there any like personal reasons that you became interested in health and fitness? It's, uh, it's just something that's just always been important to me. Um, I considered myself a, a, an athlete in high school, but everybody's an athlete in high school. I wasn't much of an athlete. <laughs> I mean, you really look at it, you know, when you're really around real athletes, but no, I considered myself an athlete in high school and I, I've just always have been active, uh, liking to play basketball in my spare time. I used to play, uh, you know, flag up flag football tournaments um, in my in my spare time. So uh, it's always just been important to me to you know stay healthy and stay in shape. Yeah, that makes sense. And Obi, there's a lot of information and misinformation out there about how to lose weight and get in shape. What advice do you have for people who like you know in my situation, especially like over forty, and that's a lot of our, our audience right now who's trying to get in shape and lose weight. Well, I think number one is, you know, you are what you eat, you know, and so I think people need to understand that you can't, um, you can't out exercise a bad diet, right? So it's, it's really trying to create a situation for yourself where you give yourself at least four days of eating the right foods, and then maybe a couple a day or two where you can indulge and splurge. And so what you put into your body it, it, you're the calories, the quality of the calories, it matters. You know, it's, it's the, it's the good proteins. It's the chicken, it's the turkey, it's the fish, it's the lean beef. It's the good, you know, it's the good carbs. It's the, the oatmeal, it's the sweet potatoes, it's the baked potatoes, it's the brown rice. You know, it's having a, a, a protein, a complex carb and a fruit and vegetable with every meal. It's following that food pyramid of making sure that your food plate is colorful with Greek, with, with fruits and vegetables. And so, you know, we're living in a time right now where, you know, um, people are vaccinated. Some people aren't vaccinated. And I, I don't want to get caught up with that political aspect, but what I do think that I feel is missing in, in, in media is the public health officials also addressing all the other things that we can do to strengthen our immune system. Okay. Like getting vitamin D, like exercising, like eating the right foods. I feel like we, we had this phenomenal opportunity over the last two years of them being able to stress that. And I feel like we failed. I feel like if, we, if, if, if they can also say that consistently, it, it would really help. We got over 50% of the population that's either overweight or obese, but we've got a billion dollar fitness industry. That's, that's a problem. That doesn't make any sense to me. You know, so, um, you know, the, the, to me, content matters and the type of content matters and pushing your food is food is your best medicine to stay healthy, to stay, to have a high, high immune system and, uh, and to be able to manage your weight. Right, right. No, those are great points. And Obi, you just mentioned what the problem was now, now both of you have come up with a solution and that's in the form of a supplement brand that you'll be um, launching quickly or shortly. Can you give me um, a quick explanation of what a, an actual supplement is and what it's supposed to do and how does what you're coming out with differentiate from all these supplements that are out there currently? Sure, well, a uh, supplement is meant to assist. It's supposed to supplement what you are already doing. It's supposed to supplement, like for example, you would only take a supplement if you're not getting enough nutrients and food, okay? So, um, so there's a lot of supplement brands, supplement companies out there. And I think it's hard for people to differentiate what is good and what is not good. So I feel like one of the reasons why Morris and I decided to create this company called Ethical, Ethical Inc., but ethical is because the supplement industry is unregulated, okay? Meaning that anybody can create a supplement product in, the, in their freaking garage, in their backyard. And so there's a lack of transparency. You've got supplement companies that have proprietary brands, 
Um, they've got ingredients on their products, but it doesn't, it's not consistent what's actually manufactured in their product. Um, they've got artificial ingredients that are not, that are harmful to you. They've got products that are overload you with an unnecessary amount of caffeine, an unnecessary amount of sugar. And so that's the problem is the lack of transparency and being able to create a product that is not going to be damaging to your health, but it's also going to assist you. Um, ethical was created because of all of the all of the supplement companies that are out there that I feel are not being honest. They're not being ethical. Um, they're putting fake ingredients in there for, for 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 two bucks and then selling it for sixty dollars. You know, so when I decided where well, I decided to want to create this company with Morris was really to create a brand that is not just supplements. It's also an educational content platform where if you have no desire to want to buy from us, that's okay. We still going to educate you with content. Whether you want a, a, a content on diet, exercise, nutrition, doesn't matter. We have it. Our products are scientific backed and based. We have an independent third party lab that's going to validate every ingredient in our product. I have no, we have no association with that lab. Um, that I don't know too many companies that are doing that where you have a lab that will detail every single ingredient, natural raw ingredients uh, that is going to be that is not going to be harmful to your health, to your health. It's actually going to help you and it's going to assist you. And, and, and with the content and what we say with the company is that if you're getting all of the nutrients in your food, you don't need a supplement. Now, let me ask you something, Tony. How many supplement companies are going to say that? OK, they're not going to say that they're not going to tell you, oh, you know, if you don't want to buy from us, that's OK. We're still going to help you. Who's going to do that? We are, because the only way that you can get people to trust you is if you're honest. You have to be honest and you have to be transparent. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to have Morris talk. No, let me I'm just talking say, too much. Let me. <laughs> no, you're not talking. To you. you have to you have to be ethical. And, and to, let me um, expand a little bit on on what Obi said. Um, what what we really want people, the educational uh, portion of our company, Ethical, is very important to us because, like we say, the eth Ethical sells supplements. Supplements are meant to supplement to assist in what you're already doing. There are a lot of companies out there that say, hey, if you take this pill or if you eat this banana, put this in the banana, and all of a sudden you're going to lose five pounds in two seconds. And it's just not true. And so that's why we that's why we're really emphasizing the educational aspect of this, because we're not just we're not just trying to throw a product and say, hey, do this. And this is what's going to happen. No, we want everyone to be informed of exactly what's going on, because in the fitness industry, there is no quick fix. You know, um, a lot of people like to think that, hey, you know, I'll take this pill. Or I'll do the shake weight or whatever. they make it all look easy on TV. Even when you go into a, um, a, a, a health store, they'll have the big old posters and say, hey, you can do this. And this, it's, it's all selling. And it's a lot of misinformation. And so that's why we feel it's important. We're ethical people. Obi is an ethical trainer. I'm an ethical uh, entertainer. Our workouts are very, um, you know, the, the way Obi and I work out together and the way Obi has assisted so many people like we did with the cut, um, like he does with his workouts. We've assisted so many people in a real uh, ethical way. It just made so much sense to come out with a, a supplement line that's augmented with the education we want to educate people on exactly what they're taking and why they're taking it we're not just going to throw something at you and say hey take this and don't worry about anything just take it no we mm -hmm. want you to understand why you're taking it and why why and why it would be why it would benefit you Absolutely. Well, that makes perfect sense and you mentioned the cut my sister actually put me on to your book and so let me give the full title the cut, lose mm -hmm. up to 10 pounds in 10 days and sculpt your best body, right? So we right. mm -hmm. both came out with that book together, figured out you'd love mm -hmm. working together. Now you're back together with a supplement line. What is it like working with each other? Like, what is it specifically that you both like working with each other? Whether it's, you know, OB with Morris as, you know, a client and friend, the way he works out with you and he's not crying and whining all the time, or Morris, whether it's OB, he's... You know, he's just putting you to work no matter what it is. You know, what is it about each other that helps you work together? 
consistent. Well, you know, for I me, think I, go, go ahead, go ahead. Morris. Go, no, I'm no, sorry. go ahead. You first. You first. No, you go I first. think I just personally think that um, not everyone gets an opportunity to work with someone they actually like and care about, you know, and love. And so it's just like to me, it's like it's not even work. I actually enjoy being around the guy. I actually enjoy uh, working with him. So it's not really work. I feel like um, we live in this society. I just think as as it in our world, it's it's um, you just very rarely see. I really think it's important as as black men to be able to really um, to be able to really celebrate. You don't really see too many people of color where they're working together. Um, and have a brotherhood and a partnership um, and really trying to set a tone where people of color can maybe aspire to be or aspire to look up to or aspire to be fit or healthy or well. So I, that's one thing that I, I'm so grateful, the fact that I have a friend who, you know, we both can share uh, experiences as far as in my career and his career as being people of color. But also I think in, in the black community, uh, we have so many pre-existing health issues that I feel like people don't talk about. So if Morris and I can maybe be the, the light to be able to shine on that and provide education to our community, to everyone, but particularly to our community, that would make me uh, be able to sleep well at night. And for me, it's uh, it started off with just a mutual respect. Um, one of the things that it, it Everything for me in working with Obi has been so seamless. Um, starting with when we first started working together, I've, I've worked with trainers in the past, and I, I'm just always a person that said, well, why, why, why? I always like to know. And trainers are like, it's almost like sometimes with some trainers, like, you know, you go into a store and say, well, what does this product do? And they say, well, let me see. And they read, and they, they, they just read about what it could do. <laughs> Whenever I would ask Obi a question, he knew, even prior to training, you know, we were talking, he was breaking everything down. Why this? Why that? This is why your diet needs to be this way. This is why we're doing those exercises. So he was constantly uh, explaining to me to where I can understand exactly what and what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And it's that level of education of Ovi being a, a truly, a truly fitness, fitness expert, which made it so seamless to work together with Obi for the book. Because I'll say, I am not a fitness expert. I'm not even close. However, I've learned from Obi a great deal. And I'm actually, I'm, and, and when, we, when we work on the projects like the book, like the supplement line, I am somewhat of the customer because I see everything from a customer's perspective. You know, Obi, he has so much knowledge in, 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 in the health and fitness world is that sometimes, you know, if someone is not familiar with health and fitness, he can be speaking Chinese, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it's like, but, you know, and then when you ask him to break it down, he can break it down. So that's why I think the, the from, our, from our working together was so seamless to the book is so seamless to the supplement, supplement line is so seamless. That's great. That's great. And like to switch gears a little bit more. So I know you've got a new mm -hmm. TV show out um, called yes. Alchemy People. And what, what I like about it is I'm very interested in any type of narrative that shows us, that shows Black excellence, that shows people in non-stereotypical ways. Um, if you could, mm -hmm. for those who aren't familiar, can you tell us a little bit about the show, what the show is about and what attracted you to your role on the show? Sure, our kind of people is a drama that takes place in the, uh, in, in Martha's Vineyard um, with uh, a, a very wealthy family. It's a very well-to-do family in Martha's Vineyard, and it's somewhat of uh, of a soap to where um, each episode it, it 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 peels back a layer of mystery, suspense. Uh, action. There's so many, so many things uh, wrapped up into it. And one of the things that attracted me to it initially was the world of uh, the quote unquote black elite um, that goes to Martha's Vineyard and lives in Martha's Vineyard year round, but primarily a lot of, a lot of them, it's like their summer homes, or summer vacation homes. And it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the world of the black elite. So that's pretty much being able to depict these wealthy families, not rich, but wealthy families um, on screen like that was something that really attracted me to the role. Awesome. And what other projects do you have coming out that we should uh, keep an eye out for? 
Um, so uh, I'm going right now, uh, probably in about a month or so, I'll be heading to New York because we're going to do a limited series of The Best Man. Um, we did The Best Man and The Best Man Holiday as a film. Um, the third installment is going to be airing on Peacock in seven episodes. So um, we're, we're gearing up for that right now. Awesome, awesome. Well, um, gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. I know you're both very busy and got things to do. So thank you for coming on, sharing what you're working on, sharing what's coming up in you know, the future. Um, Obi, if you could tell us, you know, when should we expect the launch of the of the brand sure. and where can we find out more information? Sure. So um, you, we can expect the launch on the, the 26th of January. Um, for anyone that's interested in um, looking to want to lose weight, looking to want to improve their gut health, looking to want to improve their immune system, or if they just want to educate themselves on how to be fit or healthy, or just want to learn and read any type of health and wellness information to take up their fitness goals, go to ethicalinc.com, ethicalinc.com. Take, check it out. Um, you know, we've got some great, some of the, some great, you know, I, I worked with a, one of the best formulators in the country to formulate these products and stuff. Uh, we also have weight loss exercise eBooks, 30, 60, 90 day eBooks. So um, it's very, very exciting. We're really excited about the launch and we hope that um, people are going to uh, be, they're gonna benefit from the weight, weight loss and fitness and health and wellness information on our website. And then obviously the supplement products that we have as well. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. And for anyone who's watching and wondering, no, we did not plan our outfits and our haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> or our hairstyles, right? <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Yo, Tony, Tony, brother, thanks a lot, man. I just want to say, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, you know, Tony, he helps on Black businesses. He creates a platform for Black businesses. And I'm a huge advocate on supporting any black business. So I appreciate you giving us an opportunity and a platform to highlight our African American or our, our minority owned startup business. So thank you, Tony, for the opportunity. I really appreciate you, brother. Yeah. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Of course. Of course. Y'all have a great rest of the day. Take care. All right, okay, man, you take guys care. do the same. All right. All right.